Hey everybody, this is Matt. If you've been following me, you'll know that my page is all about my impressions and comedy. But what you guys don't know is that when I was a baby, I was diagnosed with severe, life-threatening food allergies. My food allergies had a huge impact on me as a kid and certainly made me feel different. <laughs> In fact, my allergies helped to inform some of the comedy that I do today. During my freshman year of high school, I enrolled in a revolutionary program at Stanford University led by one of the authors of this book, Dr. Kari Nadeau. After going through Kari's study, my life completely changed. I no longer have to worry about cross-contamination. I mean, can you imagine if I wanted to kiss a girl, I'd have to ask her to avoid gluten for 24 hours. Now I don't. Thanks to Kari. With that, I've invited some of my celebrity friends to read part of the first chapter of Kari and Sloan's brand new book in an effort to get you to go out and buy it. So guys, take it away. All right, so this is part one of the book, okay, and it's called Chapter One, Introducing the End of Food Allergy. This is fantastic, all right, so welcome to the future of food allergy. Isn't this f unbelievable, right? If you're reading this book, then you're probably affected by food allergy in some way. I mean, pretty obvious. You know, or maybe you're simply uh, interested in understanding more about this epidemic gripping the country and increasingly <laughs> the world. Yes, we can, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, perhaps your baby was just diagnosed with an allergy to nuts or dairy or egg. Oh, we love some egg, don't we? Oh, because egg is very, very good. Oh, yes, it is. So now, maybe you have a child in elementary school confined to the nut-free table in the cafeteria, and you're turning down invitations to birthday parties out of fear that an accidental exposure to wheat or dairy will send him or her to the hospital. Are you kidding me? This is completely absurd. Maybe you have friends with food allergy in their family or their own diagnosis. Thank you very much. Well, this is fantastic. Maybe you're a clinician, clinician, wishing you had more options for your patients. Make it work. Oh my gosh, yes. Or maybe you're a parent anxious about putting your food allergic child into anyone's care but your own. This line deserves a mazel tov. It could be that you're a teacher with food allergic children in the classroom. Or maybe you have a teenage family member who seems always on the verge of forgetting to bring their epinephrine when they go out with friends. How could they do that? Or maybe you are the one in your family who has never tasted peanut, the result of arranging your life around avoiding places and foods where your allergen is likely to lurk, only at the Magician's Alliance meeting. Ah, uh, yes, yes, uh, whoever you are, if you are one of the, the tens of millions of people touched by food allergy, uh -huh, in some way, or are simply curious about the condition, then, uh, -huh, this, uh, this, this, this book, this is for you, uh, bookie, bookie, boha. You know, this book is here to help. Food allergy is entering an incredibly delectable new era. For decades, we have grappled with this alarming and perplexing epidemic that has affected an increasing number of children and adults. Oh my gosh. Uh, yet science has had little uh, to offer to those fated to a life of fear about uh, possible death, uh, albeit very uh, rare by uh, accidental exposure. And uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, uh, that time is over. Uh, gone are the days when avoiding a food at all costs was the only option. When nothing could be done and no one had any clues about treatment, and it's crazy talk. You know, we're also done with the years when claims of food allergy were met with skepticism, ignorance, and dismissal as crazy. Well, it's true that both science and the general public now recognize this condition as a serious disease that requires a great help. A great help. It's very tremendous, the work they're doing. Okay. For the past century, food allergy researchers have been forging a new continent. Hard-won understandings about the immune system now form fertile ground that allowed something new to grow. <laughs> Options. Eh, yeah, like, do like this is like sort of super sick. Yeah, like immunotherapy is at the heart of this new world. Yeah, like it's sort of super dope. Yeah. Okay, okay. This powerful technique trains the immune system to stop treating a given food as an enemy. 
no! It sets the body back on course by re-educating it slowly but surely about the safety of nuts or wheat or eggs or dairy. What are we doing with all these different foods? Just eat pasta? What? I mean, I mean, what, what even, what even is this? Okay, or whatever other food triggers the dangerous self-harming reaction known as an allergy attack. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, this seems incredibly stressful. I mean, for me, exploring a new land, this book provides an in-depth look at the complete program for pre-inventing, uh, pre-preventing, diagnosing, and reversing food allergy. Ba bop ba bop Bob. Senator Leahy, Senator Leahy, part one starts with the harrowing numbers showing the dramatic rise of the condition over the past 30 years or so, Senator Leahy. I don't know about you, but I just went a little bit crazy. I hope you all enjoy the book. Thank you so much to Kari for changing my life. And Kari and Sloan, congrats on an incredible new book. Hope you all buy it. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and I'd be really uh, remiss if I didn't read uh, the quote by uh, uh, Nancy and Steve Carell, considering that I worked with uh, Steve in, in the film Beautiful Boy. It was a really incredible uh, opportunity. So uh, they actually wrote, uh, Our Daughter's World Changed Dramatically uh, uh, After her Dr. Nadeau Successfully Treated Her, her Life-Threatening Food Allergy. So uh, if you suffer from food allergy or, or have a loved one who does, uh, this book is a must-read. <laughs>